All right, welcome back. Uh, so I'm gonna flip it a little bit again. Like I said in the last time, this time we're gonna be covering textures, uh, just because I feel like this is probably the better option since we just added our model without textures on it. So that's what we were gonna be doing in this one. Um, you can basically use whatever you want in regards to uh, like image manipulation, whatever, as long as it supports DDS. So in my case, I will be using Photoshop. So uh, you need to get your hands on Photoshop or you need to find something else and then kind of try to follow along in your own way. That's really up to you. As long as you can get it at a texture file that has the correct size and it's a DDS file. You can use a converter, you can use other tools, doesn't really matter. That's just really kind of what we need. So, um, as per usual, I'm just gonna open up OpenIV, uh, 3ds Max, and then in this case, also Photoshop. Um, I will be leaving a link to the Photoshop DDS plugin, which is what I'm using for working on DDS and converting and saving DDS. Uh, I have also probably mentioned this previously. So if you don't have it installed already, go and do that right now because we're going to need it. So I have my model from last time saved. So it's just going to be the teapot. And I have found myself this pretty looking texture that I saved in my folder called the texture. This is just going to be this JPEG that we're going to be using. Um, so we are going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to open this texture up. And the first thing we're going to make sure is that the size is correct. So in this case, it's 13 times 1300. We are going to scale this down to either depending on how crispy you obviously want the, the quality to be. In this case, we're going to do 1024. Uh, I usually go between, obviously it's in increments of double. So it's uh, 256, 512 or 1024 and then 2020, 2024 and so on and so forth. But in this case, we're going to do we could either do 512 or we can do 1024, which I will be doing in this one. Resolution is usually going to be 72. Uh, I'll just be leaving it for 300, which seems to be what this image is. And we're going to save it as, or we're going to click OK. Like I did images, image size. And then we made sure that this is, uh, for the most part, you're probably not going to be needing this. Most texture, textures we'll be using or touching are going to be GTA textures that are already the correct size and correct everything, basically. But in this case, uh, we'll just be using this one just for the sake of it. So I'm going to be saving this. So in this case, I'm going to control alt S to save it as a new one. And we're going to go into tutorial model. And we're going to save it in here. So we're going to be selecting the DDS. So D3D DDS extension. And obviously, we're not going to call it copy. We're just going to call it texture.dds save. And we're just going to go with DXT5. This doesn't really have alpha, so we could just go with DXT1. But just for the sake of making it as easy as possible, we're just doing DXT5 hitting save. And there we go. So tutorial model, texture DDS. Quite a lot, large file. It's probably because it's a uh, 300 DPI, but it is what it is. So we're heading back into Max with our teapot. And we open the material editor, which is going to be the hotkey M. If it doesn't look like this for you, you can see it up here. If you hold left click, it's probably going to be looking like this by default. We don't want that. I don't like to work with this. I'm old school. So we're holding left click on the button and then we select this one. And then we have this. So first things first, you um, it does support multiple textures. So you can do that by uh, changing the 
the ID. Uh, we'll be covering that. So the first things first, obviously, under where it says standard, we click this one. We go to multi sub multi slash sub object. Click that one. We're just going to discard all materials. And right now we have 10 materials slots. We don't need that. Just going to delete all of these and I'm just going to leave us two because uh, we're, uh, we might as well just go over splitting or using multiple textures. So for this one, we're going to do teapot as the name. And for this one, we're just going to do. <sighs> Let's check what I have in here. Gnome PNG. No, we don't want that one. How a cop killer records logo. So we might as well just do that. Cop killer. Then we go to under sub material, we go to none. Gims V material. Oh. It's going to complain. So open up Gims Evo. Should have done it from the start, but. Just minimize this for now. And uh, I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to clear this one. Select Gims again. And the same for this one. You can rename these as well. So just call material 12 currently. We're just going to call it teapot. And we're going to go back. And then for this one, cup killer. And go back. That's basically it when it comes to setting up the textures. So what you want to do is uh, you want to select the model. A lot of people, if you work with 3ds Max, you already know this. Um, you select the model and you hit apply or assign material like this. And then you can see it switches color. So in this case, I guess if we want half of it to be one material or one one texture and the other half to be another texture. We'll just select go polygon and select half of it like this, which we're going to set to ID one. This is the default ID. So actually for this, we're just going to set it one up. Yep. That means one side is now material ID two, whereas the other side is material ID one. So we'll deselect this one, make sure we have our model selected. And then in Gims Evo, we go to Material Editor. Then you can see that we have ID 1 and we have ID 2. So for ID 1, we'll extend this one out. It's like an option. We're, we'll just be using this for now. Uh, we don't want to make anything too fancy. This is just... Uh, we are just, yeah, just adding a texture basically. So under diffuse texture, we are going to click on the one that says empty. And then we're going to go to our tutorial model. We're going to select texture DDS. And then we're going to make sure we have it embedded. In this case, because this is a one of a kind model. Um, all of these don't really matter too much. So we're just going to close this one. The reason it doesn't show is because usually when you start out, it doesn't actually show the texture applied. So for the cop killer one, so we we're going to go back into Photoshop. We're going to take the cop killer records one. We're going to make sure it has the correct size. In this case, it's 200. So we're going to up it to two, uh, 256. Hit OK. Control Alt S. Go to tutorial model. Save as DDS. Just call it Cop Killer. Save. And then basically the same thing. Cop Killer. Option. Diffuse texture. Empty. Cop Killer DDS. Embed. And close. So now we have the uh, textures added. Right now we can't really see it. So what, what you can do to make this show up is we go to export, save it in our tutorial, tutorial model, hit OK. Obviously have our model selected. And then we just delete it, go and import it. 
and then we click on there. and then you can see the reason this looks so weird is because we have uh, transparency enabled so if we disable this you can see it looks just fine so we have 50 50 um cop killer on one side this on the other side so we want this to be a bit more pretty or we want this to change so uh, we're just going to change the uv and the way the tutorial or the uh texture set up we will be using this tool a lot especially when we make interiors so i might as well just cover that now if we go to our uh, modifier list under modifier list we'll be using this this one called uv w map select that one and you can see we now have this square which rep represents uh the texture and how it's applied so i'm gonna put this to box and right now it just fits with the texture so we want this to be basically the same size on every every angle so you can see length is two width it is three height is 1.5 so we'll just do two 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 so you can see this is a bit more correct rather than it being stretched so we'll just go up here uvw map we'll just do right click and then collapse to obviously like i said as per usual if you know how to work in 3ds max you know how to unwrap a model and everything this is not something you are obviously going to be using. You're going to be converting your texture, unwrapped texture, into a DDS file. And that's going to be the one you're applying. So, but in this case, we're just adding a quick texture to this. So, we're just going to select it again. We're going to go to export, tutorial model. Okay, continue. And let us do its thing. Go into Open IV. Go back into our tutorial, DLC, X64 level CT models. And then we go to our tutorial models in our folders where we have the, uh, the ODR file. We're just going to drag the ODR file in here again. You can see the file size increased by, by, by a lot. And that's because we now have embedded textures. So if we open up our model you can see the textures are now applied on both sides and it looks well it doesn't look great but it looks like something and we can go down here and view embedded textures and we can see the two textures that are now embedded so we'll just close this one and we haven't really made any changes but um i didn't cover this in the last well, i forgot to cover this in the last tutorial when it comes to adding models in your Y type, make sure that under uh, archetypes, when you want to add more custom models, you just add that item under the next one. So in this case, if we were to make a tutorial model two, we would just add that as another item. Just keep that in mind. Uh, since we haven't made any changes to anything really, just we updated the model. We don't actually have to do anything. We just updated the model. Uh, we're not using external source. We're just embedding the textures. So all we really have to do is go back into our FX server, resources, whatever, tutorial to stream. And we just take our tutorial underscore model drag that in here and then this is updated we're going to code walker go to open go to tutorial like the the scene we made or the project we made last time and then we go to it real quick whenever it wants to show up there we go you can see it has the uh, textures embedded into it as well Obviously, this is more focused on people that know how to work in 3ds Max, or if you have a model you want to import or you want to do something with. This is how it is done. Usually, obviously, uh, something like this is unwrapped. 
for the texture to fit. Uh, so if you know what unwrapping is and you know how to do it, that's easy for you. If not, then the UV, UD, UV, UVV uh, modifier is a good, good way of going about it just for some quick stuff. Uh, so, but in this case, it now has the, the texture applied. So we can close code worker back down and we can start our server. So obviously this is very quickly just how you basically slap on a texture to your model and then adding adding that model. <clears throat> you don't really have to change anything, especially not when the uh, texture is, uh, is embedded. It really just kind of does its own thing. Uh, so yeah, the only thing you still need to remember is adding in the Y type uh, and making sure that it's in Code Walker and your project and so on and so forth. Uh, the hard part is setting up the actual material itself, which is what we just did. So as you can see, it now has the, the texture supplied and is looking real fucking fancy. <laughs> so that's basically it. Uh, next one is going to be collisions. And then we're going to be moving on to interiors. So thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.